What will win in a drag race between the old McLaren 720S and this, the new McLaren 750S? We're gonna find out by racing them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Right, let me tell you. No, in fact, no, I'm not gonna tell you. Let's start off with Andy, also known as the car filming safety guy, telling you everything about the 720. Andy, how are you? Hello, Matt. I'm all good. Thanks for having me back. Thanks for coming back with your 720S, which last time I spoke to you had not put a foot wrong in, what was it, a year or two years of ownership, which is quite unusual for McLaren. Sorry, McLaren. Has it gone wrong yet? Well, there was some bubbling on the panels, but McLaren, wonderfully under the warranty, replaced the bonnet and the front wings and the door, resprayed it all, picked it up, brought it back to me. No charge. Thank you very much. Okay, so something has gone wrong, but it wasn't mechanical. However, there was bubbling on the paintwork, which made makes me think that it was rusting, but it doesn't have metal body panels, does it? Yeah, something to do with some earlier McLarens had some moisture content in the carbon mould. Um, but yeah, it was all done by them. And apart from that, yeah, it's been great. 13,000 miles now. But give me the stats on that car. Four litre, twin turbo V8, 720 horsepower, 770 newton metres of torque, seven speed dual clutch, weighing 1.4 tonne. This car has similar engine, but they've increased power to 750 horsepower. And I've got more torque, up by 30 newton metres to eight hundred newton meters still got a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox rear wheel drive and the weight is pretty similar as well there is another difference which might matter in this drag race because it'll help the car put its power down this has a proper limited slip differential whereas that car doesn't does it i'm afraid not a bit weird i was always surprised they never had a diff in those cars they always claimed it was about weight reduction blah 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 but here we are they finally learned and they put one in because it doesn't add that much extra weight and it really does help improve traction anyway will it affect the drag race well we're going to find out but before we do find out we're going to do the customary car wash sound check so i'm going to rev up this 750. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Rev up your car, Andy. Yeah, they sound very similar, don't they? Surprise, surprise. I think that's a good time to get on with the race. Three, two, one. Will Smith off the line, but hooked up better than his car. Now he's getting dropped. I reckon this could go quicker. Pretty sure that his can as well. I don't think your car hooked up particularly well there, Andy. The launch control was working, it was good, but yeah, there's not a lot in it once we're off the line. Well, we'll find out because we're gonna do it again. So I didn't hook up as well as I could do. I reckon I've got a better time in me and I reckon you've definitely got a better time in you because I shouldn't be that far ahead. And I think it was just that initial launch off the line. I thought with the better gearing that yours should have, the shorter gearing, I thought we'd have been much further in front. Oh, wait there, Andy, you're telling me something I don't know about this car. I clearly haven't done my research. So it's also got shorter gearing than your car. I may be wrong, but there's, isn't there something about the 765 gearing or it's got different gearing or something? I might be wrong. Right, we're gonna get an editor to put on screen now. Does this car have shorter gearing? If so, by how much? Pretty close, but this just picked up a bit better. That was better that time. You get a better launch, but still, it's beat you quite convincingly. I'm afraid so. Normally I do best two out of three, which means that it'd be game over, but let's call the first drag race a practice and go again. So best three out of five. Three, two, one. Oh, neck and neck on the line. In fact, he got a better jump on me. Here we go. I skipped over a jump, it's going to take me this time. Oh, good work. Oh, 
Now that's what I'm talking about. So this car had a little bit of an issue off the line. It lost a bit of traction and then he went over a jump and it sort of skipped a bit. But you were gone. Your launch was so good. Now, awesome. I'm up to 35 degrees on the rear tyres now, which is probably helping me because you're on P0s, I think. Yeah, I am. Mine is saying 38 on the one, 35 on the other. So you got some heat in those Cup 2s. Let's go again. Add me off the line again. I didn't get the wind skipping then, but it's not my best time. It's getting slower. So Andy, this is really interesting. My car's getting slightly slower and yours is getting quicker as the tyres warm up. It's cup twos. Once they're in heat, they are so good. I said best three out of five, it's two each. It's the decider. Three. Got away better that time. So I'm an honest chap, Andy. Um, let me just check something. Stewards, can you just double check I didn't jump? No, uh, no jump, it's all good. I think you might have been a bit slow off the line that time, I'm afraid, Andy. What's interesting is that once they're off the line, there's very little in it. The rolling start is going to be really interesting. Before we do that, Andy, let's just do the numbers. So then what exactly happened? Well, the 750S won. It completed the standing quarter mile in 10.5 seconds. The 720S took 10.8 seconds. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free! I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow, where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow, and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price. On with the video. Okay, now we gather rolling grace. Second gear from 30 miles an hour to the half mile. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. That was really interesting. I think you just won, just by the narrowest margin. For one moment I was ahead of you, then I was behind you, then I was, that's what I think happened. And this lost a bit of traction at one point, and, and that's when you just came back past me, and then that was it. Yeah, I fluffed up a gear change. I hit the rev limit, which took a little bit off, but yeah, interestingly, I didn't lose traction at all. Cup twos, mate. I'm on Pirelli's. Afraid so. Cup twos, best tire ever. Let's do it again without a cocked up gear change. Okay, second gear again, 30 miles an hour. Three, two, one, go. That's faster. It is, yeah. I think it had a tiny bit of wheel spin, but yeah, it's faster. It's a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> it is what it is. Do you know what? Let's take the traction out of it by doing it from 50 in third, then there shouldn't be traction issues, 
and we'll just be able to compare the torque and the actual power then without traction and your better tyres. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not necessarily the tyres, is it? So you're in track mode, yeah? I'm in track, dynamic ESC, track handling, track everything. Let's do one more of those, just to take any light inconsistencies with the gearbox out. Right, here we go, let's get to 50. I'll call it in. Three, two, one, go. So that was interesting. I don't think you got a good pickup from the beginning then. But once we were going, although I was ahead, towards the end, did you notice you were reeling me in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was catching up once it's going, yeah. So I think we need to do just one more of those in third gear because it's still not conclusive. Last go. Three, two, one, go. That didn't answer any more questions really. I do still think you were really me back in at the top end, but this, the last two runs that I did, I noticed that there was no traction issues and the car just performed slightly better, but I'm sure at the top end, you were still just pulling me back, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, it was catching up about a car length towards the end, but that's the thing with this car. Now, of all the things that we've done on it on this, once it's going, it's just a rocket ship. In other words, not only have you got a McLaren that is reliable, you've got a really, really fast one. Yeah, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it. So I've had it five years now, 13,000 miles nearly. I use it all the time, it's great, I love it. Well, there you go, he's not buying this new car. Now we're gonna have a brake test from 100 miles an hour when we reach the line, full emergency stop. A car that stops in the shortest distance wins. I stamped on that as hard as I could. We've both got air brakes, we've both got carbons which have been warmed up. I think that's a tyre difference. Definitely. See, it's a safety thing having Cup 2s as well. It helps protect pedestrians. Once they're warmed up. It's a shame you kind of like heaters in the wheel arches that can radiate heat on them to warm them up quicker. Yeah, there's an idea there. Might have to look into that. Anyway, that was really interesting. That car is quick. There's not much difference between these two. And another lesson, tyre choice makes a big difference. Not only accelerating and putting your power down, but also stopping. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy the video. I just want to say a huge thanks to the people that have lent me this car. They've also got a YouTube channel. Huge thanks to Andy as well for bringing his 720S along once again to perform brilliantly. Now, if you want to watch some other drag race videos, maybe one with that car in, click on those video windows that should be appearing right now on the screen. And if you click on the CarWow icon, you can go to CarWow to check out how these cars what more times compare to everything else we've ever drag raced in the Carway Drag Race leaderboard. Thanks for watching.